Well, it's been just over a week since the bust of General Robert E. Lee was placed back on its pedestal. The search for the vandals never stopped, and it was thanks to cameras in downtown Fort Myers that police now have a clear picture of who's responsible. Screenshots of two suspected vandals taken from the vantage point of surveillance cameras downtown. Beware, the eyes are on you. Fort Myers police and the Sons of Confederate Veterans now looking to ID the men who took down the bust of General Robert E. Lee. You know, everybody has their opinions on the Robert E. Lee monument. We don't all agree on that, of course, but this was a crime. On March 12th, police say vandals loosened the bolts that held the bust on its pedestal. It was found on the ground. It's sad. It really is. Um, We've had numerous threats that it was going to happen. The Sons of Confederate Veterans made repairs and reattached it the very same day, saying they won't back down. Enough's enough. We will not stop. It will, it will happen every single time. Somebody takes it down, just defaces it, it, it will be fixed. The monument is a figure of controversy for some, but others say, regardless of your stance... It's not the best way to, to, to show that you don't agree with something. Just tearing something down. Whether it's good history, whether it's bad history, it's history. As the search continues, so does the pursuit of justice. I hope it comes to fruition and they're, they're prosecuted to the fullest extent. Set an example of them that this cannot be tolerated. Crime Stoppers is offering a $3,000 reward for anyone who has information that leads up to an arrest. We're also told by the Sons of Confederate Veterans that they're also looking into a reward themselves. I'm live in downtown Fort Myers tonight. Nestor Montoya, NBC2.